Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading for the week commencing 17th of July 2017. So let's see what we've got for you this week. Oopsie daisy. God's a just popping out of me. What's happening, Sagittarius? Let's see. What's with your back? Someone out there has a really sore back. I'm getting back, lower back. Specifically the Dale area. The Dale one could be affected. There's some sort of sore feeling there. So look after your back, Sagittarius. What are the messages for Sagittarius for the commencing 17th of July 2017? What are the messages for Sagittarius? The commencing 17th of July 2017. I shall be giving you a healing at the end of this reading, Sagittarius, as usual. Somehow it always happens that I end up giving you a healing. But, okay. So your base chakra and your heart chakra seem to be affected. Now, base chakra has everything to do with your earthly issues. So your physical health, money, wealth, assets, property, any material possessions that you may have. That seems a bit affected to me. So some of you could be getting a lower backache. Some of you could be uh, facing, uh, currently facing a cash crunch. You could be tight on your finances. And you're also mourning some sort of an emotional loss, but I don't think it is fresh. I think it's carried forward from um, past few weeks this has been coming up so you're still sort of thinking about something that has emotionally caused you um, pain but this is not new this this has lasted a while okay be careful for some of you there could be um, I'm seeing a theft it doesn't necessarily have to be a big theft where there's a burglary or something but just a minor um, kind of a theft you know you might just lose something not of much value so just be careful Get some angelic therapy for your reading, Sagittarius. I love these cards. Positive. Love and light. You're having a breakup, Sagittarius. I hate giving negative readings, and that's why I use angelic energy. But these three cards right here, the combination is lethal. This is a heartbreak. This is the tower, disruption. So there's a huge change. Everything is going topsy derby and there's um, havoc. And this happens in your area of partnerships and alliances. So this combination of cards is about your relationships um, and ending of relationships. This relationship it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. I'd like to clarify that unless you do have a romantic situation where you're struggling with your partner. But it could be any relationship which is actually facing its end. So you've got to be prepared uh, for that, Sagittarius. Let's see what the angels have to say for that, Sagittarius. Recommencing 17. July 2017. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? Week commencing 17th of July 2017. What can Sag do to um, work on the situation with love and life and clarity? Again, firstly, you've got to be very careful about your uh, material uh, possessions, your car. I'm also getting um, be um, drive carefully. Don't be uh, in a rush. Any vehicles. 
that you may be driving or riding, be careful on the road. Look after your things, you know, keys, uh, car keys or your purse, whatever it is. And look after your lower back. Your lower back could be um, facing some sort of pain. Okay, your chakras again. Other chakras. So you see, you're aware of the fact that this particular situation, this particular relationship is actually coming to an end. You're actually not expecting it, but expecting it, if that makes sense. Like you knew this was coming. This wasn't, a, this is, isn't going to be a shock to you. You knew this was coming. But now you're more accepting of the fact that this is happening and this is beyond your control and this is how it's meant to be kind of a situation. That's what I'm seeing. There could be a harsh exchange of words with this person. There could be um, a verbal uh, aggressive argument. Or, on the contrary, it could also be that one party might have said so much that the other one was in shock and couldn't really say much. So certain things might have been left unsaid or might be left unsaid. I, I see this in the middle of the week coming up. So you could actually have this big um, argument or a fight. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be an argument or a fight, but there is this ending to this relationship, is what I see. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with the situation. So your guides, your guardian angels, your spirit guides are actually helping you through and protecting you and um, guiding you on this journey, Sagittarius. So you are being looked after, you are being protected, that you can um, rest assured about. Okay, I'm going to be sending the healing end of this reading. There are like four chakras all up here. That's your crown, that's your throat, that's your ear chakras, and that's your base chakra. And they're drawing your attention towards these things. You need to listen to yourself, and that's why ear chakras have come up. You could be actually, actually I see you listening to your inner voice end of this week. So, which is good because you will be actually looking into the deepest shadows of your soul and soul searching. You will be asking your inner voice what to do and that's where your ear chakras came up. So you will be listening to your inner voice which is great. But this communication with this relationship person needs to happen with love and light. So any words that you use will have to be very um, careful and well thought of. Uh, thought of. Let's see more. But I see your guides will actually be guiding you. You are being guided. Your inner self will guide you. Because of all this situation, you could be feeling slightly, not slightly actually, I feel you're feeling drained. You're feeling emotionally tired and drained. And you need to recharge your batteries. You need to re-energize yourself. Also, you need to shield yourself. So when this break of relationship comes in, you've got to shield yourself and make sure you're not being affected by the other person's negative energy because you're emotionally sensitive um, around this time, Sagittarius. So you've got to look after yourself in that way white light yourself, um, try to stay away from this conflict, from this person when you know it's going to be, a, there's going to be a conflict, stay away from it, you could remove yourself from the situation, but you do have divine guidance and support, goddess, and then there was your power animal, which is your spirit guide, so you do, they're actually helping you hear your inner voice, to be order to make the right decisions and to be able to deal with the situation with love and light. That's what I'm getting Sagittarius. So you've got to be prepared for a big week. There could be um, multiple big changes and you 
you've got to be prepared. But don't forget the fact that you're actually receiving divine energy and help and guidance. So you'll be just fine, Sagittarius. Now, I would love to give you some cleansing and healing. So, or even heart chakras, yeah. So I'm going to cleanse your chakras and then send you a quick distance Reiki healing. So I'd like to cleanse all Sagittarius watching this video, cleansing your heart chakra. Filling it with a vibrant green color. Removing any blockages that you may have here. Sagittarius and filling it with Reiki energy and love and light. Cleansing your throat chakra. Removing any harsh communication that may be stuck in your throat anything that doesn't serve your highest good. Open your crown chakra so that you can connect with the divine and be psychically aware of things happening around you. And let the universe help you. The base chakra Cleansing it and removing any blockages that you may have. And refilling it with a vibrant red color for good health, wealth, and prosperity. see any blockages in your chakras but I'm just going to refill it with Reiki energy here so refilling your inner chakras and boosting the energy of your inner voice <coughs> so, that I, so that you can hear yourself with clarity balancing your throat chakra to be able to communicate with clarity and love and light to boost your imagination. And expression. Refilling and re-energizing your crown chakra for divine cosmic connection with the universe, between you and the universe. Opening up to receiving and giving information, re-energizing your base chakra for physical health, prosperity and wealth, balancing your heart chakra with love and light and purity. So those were chakras that we worked on. Now very quickly, I shall send you a Reiki distance healing. Um, please be open to receiving this healing. And I thank you for receiving a Reiki um, distance healing. Okay. Sending Reiki distance healing to all Sagittarians watching this video.
with your permission, I'd also like to uh, do a quick sound healing session uh, for Sagittarians watching this video. So, the sound of this bowl should help you cleanse your atmosphere and, <clears throat> excuse me, realign the atoms in your chakras and your body and in your magnetic field and it will energize you and balance you all over. I'd like to target the sound healing to all Sagittarians watching this video. Removing any blockages and realigning their magnetic fields. Okay, Sagittarius, so those were Reiki distance healing and sound healing uh, for you. I hope this uh, benefited you and sending you much love and light. See you next time.